yeah so this is what i'm about to eat today carnita tacos and corn tortillas what's up everybody welcome back to our channel so as you guys saw i'm about to have some carnita tacos i made these at home with some carnita like this carnita box that i found in walmart i'll try to find a picture and put it up but her uh shout out to walmart y'all know i love walmart hashtag sponsor us y'all already know um, but i really love these these are frozen whenever i don't feel like cooking a long meal i just make these and they literally take maybe like overall maybe 10 minutes 15 minutes to prepare like chopping up all of the veggies and all of that i bought pico de gallo and i just sliced up a little bit of avocados so it was easy for me anyways let's pray thank you lord for everything that you have given me in life thank you for waking me up every single day and waking my family up every single day thank you for our good health and um our strength and our family and our youtube family amen anyways so right now i'm about to dig in let me just show y'all like a little close-up i like scrunched it up already but that's how it looks i don't really have much in it and i don't have sour cream which i'm kind of sad about if you guys hear a child in the background it's because jerk was like right there anyways um let's dig in i swear this is my favorite i love it So, some of you guys have been liking the reaction videos that I've made about the Ace family. And the main reason why I even thought about making it was because I saw a lot of people talking about how fake it was. And it was like literally, like all of these fake videos were going viral. So I was like, I need to speak about this because I like to watch them and I'm going to speak about how I feel. You guys know I'm a YouTuber. That's what YouTubers do. And a lot of you guys liked it. A lot of people who didn't like it. Um, as far as like our subscribers, there was probably like two. Um, and then the other people that didn't like it were like, I guess, fans of the Ace family. And they just, I guess, saw that I was talking about them. And they didn't watch the video because you can tell by the comments. And then like, I guess since they just saw that I made a video about them, they automatically thought it was like a negative bashing video which it wasn't. But I don't care about those people. So, since you guys liked that video, I got a few requests from people saying that they want me to speak about Damo and Chrissy and like about their breakup, even though it happened like three weeks ago, but I'm just gonna speak about it because you guys want me to. Oh, I love avocado. There was a lot of people saying that the breakup was fake because, like, Damo supposedly was, like, trying to promote a video that she was... or a song that she put out. I personally don't think it's fake. I honestly feel like you just don't know who's who on here. There's a lot of people who are extremely fake, and you could kind of... Like, for me, I could already... I, uh, excuse me. I get vibes from people and there's some people on here that I'm like, how the hell do they have a lot of subscribers? They must be like eight year olds or something. That's my son. He's nine. And he watches these people. I mean, he, I heard him talk about it with his friend. These people that make like the fakest pranks, always supposedly pregnant like every five months. And it's all for, for views. And for money, obviously. And you can do shit for money, but stay humble. Like, remember where the f*** you came from, you know? A lot of these people, like... I'm going off topic now, but... A lot of these people, like, forget that they used to come... Like, they used to be poor. Living in the projects, like... Whatever, anyways... So I personally don't think that they did it for like promo and like for like her song to be like popping and to get views. 
the thing about me is that like yeah they're breaking up and at the end of the day we never know like the real reason or if what they said was real you know I personally believe them for why they broke up supposedly they just like the spark wasn't there anymore I think they were gonna make three years this year because Damo has a tattoo of their anniversary date and like I just feel like I mean I I can't tell you why they broke up but Sometimes certain things, when you live with somebody, when you have a kid with somebody, the spark goes away. The love isn't there anymore as far as, like, as lovers. They said that they felt like they were sisters and best friends. But they still loved each other. I don't know. I just feel like a lot of people were shocked because... YouTubers, when they're about to break up, I mean, for me, when I watched them, I was shocked because literally, like, a week before that, they were, like, happy and making videos, like, happy and kissing and shit like that. So, it's, like, then they broke up a week later or, like, let's say a month because they were making a lot of videos before that. But in the video of their of them breaking up, they said that... I'm almost done. <laughs> they said that they had disconnected a long time ago. They were going to therapy and all of that for a while, and then they finally decided to break up. So if you were like going through all of this, like it kind of seemed like everything that they posted for the last couple months were like fake. But I mean, that's why people get shocked and they start assuming shit, you know? That's for that's why for our channel, a lot of people may not agree with this, and I honestly don't care. Cause it's our channel but if we ever go through something that's real serious like i feel like you know the love isn't there anymore or we argued for something really serious i've talked to you guys about that i think in our five years of marriage almost five years in october i spoke to you guys like two times about like extreme arguments that we had i even spoke about how we had an argument right before i found out i was pregnant and like I've spoken to you guys about that. But I also like to talk about like the bad just in case some shit goes down where we're not together anymore and I don't want y'all to be shocked, you know? Like you, I can easily talk to you guys let's say about it and then be like, oh, you know, this reason, like you remember when I spoke about this or whatever, that was the reason, you know? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and I don't know, I just like to keep it real with you guys, whether people like it or not. Yeah, long story short, um, I don't think they were lying. I just feel like they should have, I don't know. For me, I would have went about things differently. But once again, they not me. I'm not them, so I can't tell them what to do. But that's why a lot of people were shocked. Because, you know, once again, they just seemed like they were super happy. And I wish them the best because I really like their, I used to like their channel. Their channel is like no more anymore. They have their own separate channels. And um, they have their son, um... Dominic and they're gonna share custody and I feel like they went about things really good I mean at the end of the day we still don't know how it is in person But I hope that what they're saying is legit and I felt like it was legit But at the end of the day you never really know because you don't know these people in real life But yeah, I'm like subscri I'm subscribed to both of them. I like Damo's channel a little better I like Chrissy's vlogs so I'll be watching them separately and I wish them the best and let me know if you guys would like for me to do more of these reaction videos and let me know what you would like me to talk about. Like if this is a scandal, comment down on uh <laughs> blah, blah, blah. comment down below and let me know like some shit happened and then tell me to go watch whatever video it was so I could talk to you guys about it because the boys are going to school soon, y'all, and I am going to have free time, which means I could work in peace and I could feel more. So let me know in the comments down below what you would like to see. I know on Instagram, a lot of you guys said cooking and cleaning videos, which hopefully it'll be easier um, for me to do it this time, even though, you know, baby girl's breastfeeding. I'm trying to get her to start um, drinking milk in the bottle, by the way, because, you know, just in case we want to go on date nights, which we need, because ever since I had Jericho four years ago, we've only been on like three date nights. So um, I have a few people 
um, who like have offered to take care of the babies, well, the kids, because Corey's not a baby, but like of the kids, and I trust them, thank God, and I, it would be nice for me and Desmond to start going out, you know, not all the time, but like to have day nights and baby girl can be breastfeeding and staying with like a babysitter or whatever and then she's gonna be like obviously super pissed so i'm gonna get her to do that and obviously i'll still be breastfeeding as well okay. uh, oh my gosh i'm like gassy um so yeah i'm gonna do both i'm gonna see if she likes bottle and breast so far uh she don't like the bottle she's like eh. Eh, but anyways i feel like i was all over the place with this video but yeah let me know once again in the comments down below what type of videos you would like i don't know what that was oh the reason why i brought up breastfeeding was because breastfeeding is a job in itself so i don't know how busy like life is gonna be when the boys aren't here but i know for a fact i'm gonna have some type of peace because y'all whenever i'm editing i'll be here I, like editing takes hours so it takes me like double the amount of hours because i'm constantly getting up i hear the boys are fighting i have to get up and tell them something i hear the dogs doing so it's just a lot so i'm excited for them and i'm excited for them also because obviously it's a new year they're gonna learn new things especially puka bears i mean he's gonna go to pre-k he's actually gonna be in a school environment and they have speech there for him as well even though yo he has been talking his little butt off he literally copies everything so we like have to watch ourselves now like we have to watch ourselves obviously it slips like certain things slip up but yeah we have to watch ourselves because literally this week he was like copying like everything we would say like if i'm talking right now he'd be like like if i'm talking right now like yeah, he's doing that. So, uh, yeah, they start school, and I'm excited for Corey because it's fourth grade. Fourth grade is like that year that's like serious mode. Like, they're gonna teach him way more. And not that the other years weren't serious, but it's gonna be even more serious this year because they have the test this year and he cannot fail. Like, last year's test, if you know a kid fails or whatever, they kind of let you slide. But this year, they don't play. So, um, I just, I believe in him and we're just, you know, gonna just, uh, work hard this year with both of them. So, like always. So, I love you guys and you guys will see me later. I'm like scratching my leg because I got a freaking mosquito bite. And yeah, like this video if you liked it and subscribe. Peace out. Kiki, do you love me? Are you riding? Say you never ever leave from beside me. Cause I want you and I need you. And I'm down for you always, KB. Do you love me? Are you riding?